Hey, what's up, guys? We're back again to unleash massive Mega Knight memes. Our 2.0 Mega Knight meme cycle deck is coming in quick, and it might be the stupidest deck I could possibly play in the meta. When the Mega Knight gets bombarded by Phoenix Birds and you have no way of finishing them off, how do you ever expect to win? I wanted to rise to the occasion with this ultimate challenge with the cheapest Mega Knight deck possible in the game and one of the worst metas that I could play it. If I could win any games on ladder, that would be ridiculously embarrassing for any opponent. And the reward of the satisfaction of the win will be absolutely priceless. I don't have a single spell, any way of getting direct damage, and literally zero answers to Phoenix. Even if my bats are able to finish off the Phoenix, they're gonna die to the Phoenix death damage. This will be one of the most difficult challenges that I've ever attempted on the channel. So let's go jump straight to some games and hopefully find a way to assert dominance. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on any of the daily videos. Thanks to everyone that's using Critic Code Star Tag to make high effort videos like this one possible. All right, we got a game here. So this guy is just chilling in California, not cycling a single thing. Definitely want to go for wall breakers in the back and disrupt the circuits. He's probably not ready for this. If I go for Mega Knight at the river, I got to be playing aggressive with this deck because it's so bad. I need to catch my opponent on their toes. Wait, the wall breaker on the right's going to connect. He missed the cannon. He might actually activate King Tower though. Oh, he missed the King Tower activation. Let's go. That's awesome. He went in for a cannon, ice spirit goblins, and wasted everything. That's hilarious. That's exactly what we expect from level 14 Phoenix players. So we're going to go in for skeletons and go and try to pull the Phoenix to the other side so then I don't have to worry about it. Remember, the cannon is out of cycle, so I can go for wall breakers here and apply more aggression. Probably bait out a snowball or a log, and he goes in for the log. So Fire Spirit's going to give me more damage. In my best interest to cycle that out the tower instead of an Ice Spirit, right? And it locks on the tower despite him going for a princess. Wait, this guy's day is completely and utterly ruined. Every single thing that he thinks is going to work out has been just blasting in his face with bad luck. So Mega Knight's going to jump on the princess. He's going to end up having like Monk and Goblins likely in cycle. So I want to go Bats here. The Goblins are definitely dead. He's going to try to activate King Tower again. And I think this time he will actually hit it, unfortunately. No! <laughs> this is what these emoji encapsulates for me right now. That is my feeling. Utter disgust. Jeez, if I can beat this Phoenix plus Hog Rider Fast Cycle player, it would make me so happy. This matchup is not going to be easy because he has the ability to just get back to so many different cannons and always get good positive elixir traits on my Mega Knight if he has decent mechanics. So he activated King Tower, so I guess his mechanics are good. Let's see what he does. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right when I say that, he just decides to prove us wrong and misses the Mega Knight and uh, gives us a lot of damage. So we're going to go Wall Breakers here. Hopefully we're able to go and kite the Phoenix and show him how he's supposed to do it. Then we go in for Skeletons, and I think the Wall Breakers will connect if he didn't drop something because the Princess wasn't able to hit both the Wall Breakers with their shot. So since it only hit the back Wall Breaker, the first Wall Breaker ahead would have tanked for it and given me way more damage. We go Bats here, and I'm going to rush through with Wall Breakers and try to get him to go in for a Cannon on the Mega Knight so then the Wall Breakers can connect. He's going to go Ice Spirit. Wait, the Mega Knight's going to get it onto the tower. Wait, wait, that's so much damage on both sides. Let's freaking go, guys. <laughs> what is this game? What is happening right now? What the heck? I can Mega Knight as well. Bounce it back with Skeletons. Wait, we're hard chilling. And he's going in for Earthquake. He's freaking shook up right now. He doesn't know what to do. His brain is scrambled. Okay, Phoenix, stop it right now. Just for a sec, bro. Just for a sec. Oh my goodness. That Mega Knight is definitely dead, but we can go and kite the Phoenix again. And I don't know if he's going to be able to get back to anything that's going to give me grief. We're going to Mega Knight here. We're going to get Bats down as well. I should be able to get Wall Breakers on the other side to force out more Elixir. The Phoenixes are so annoying though, dude. They do way too much damage and it kills Mega Knight. It eats them alive. Mega Knight might be able to kill the Princess. One of the Wall Breakers connected to the tower again. He's going to go for another cannon. I'm going to slow roll Mega Knight in the back so I can make sure that he can't go for a Hog Rider adventurously. He's still going to do it, but I don't think that's the right play. I think we can knock it back and disrupt it and then finish it off with the Fire Spirit and Bat, so we're chilling. He's going for Earthquake for damage. Maybe we can go for Wall Breakers on the left-hand side and then go Mega Knight Wall Breakers in the right-hand side and cycle back to another cycle. So he thinks this is my push, but it's not. It's not my push, dude. We're pushing the limits to the other side right now. Double Mega Knight dominance. And then I can go for Wall Breakers again. Dude, he's going to go all in on me right now. But there's two Mega Knights on the field with bats on the tower. And we have all the power. I cannot believe we were able to crush a dirty, disgusting level 14 Phoenix Spammer. And he activated King Tower at the start. But it still wasn't a match for the 2.0 Mega Knight Circus Spam. All right, we got a game against Oswald. And this guy isn't psychoing a single thing. So we're just going to chill, relax, and wait for him to spam us. If he decides not to do that, then I'm... Okay, there he is. <laughs> there he goes. We're going to Ice Spirit so then the Ice Spirit doesn't jump onto our tower. And we didn't take any damage from the Goblin Barrel. What the heck? I mean, I did drop 9 Elixir, so I don't know why I'm surprised. But I really thought the 
bats were going to be able to hit that goblin in time. Okay, so the Mega Knight's going to jump onto that. Okay, I thought that was going to activate King Tower for him using the Dark Goblin and then dropping something near the King Tower, but apparently this guy didn't know any better. That's awesome for us because we can go for bats and then hopefully be able to make him drop the Mighty Miner ability or something. We can go for Fire Spirit and Skeletons here. If you guys haven't done that, that is able to splash on every single one of the goblins. You Fire Spirit first, then immediately drop something behind it. So then the Fire Spirit gets pushed into the goblins and splashes all the goblins for no damage taken. As you guys are seeing, we're doing pretty well. I might want to go in for like a Mega Knight and Wall Breakers. But the bad thing about it is he's going to have Cannon for a very efficient answer to our Wall Breakers and to, for a counter for our Mega Knight. He did drop his log though, so here we go. Let's spam our way to success and hopefully this works out. I don't know. I, I'm hoping that the Ice Spirit is allowing us to... Oh my gosh. Did you guys see that? The, the Wall Breaker was body blocked by the Mega Knight, so it couldn't jump onto the Cannon. The Mega Knight's like, yo, dude, you're on a leash right now. You're not allowed to do that to me right now. You're not allowed to waste yourself. You're supposed to give your full potential to us. I'm able to go in for an Ice Spirit and then a Heal Spirit. We didn't take any damage there besides the Log. Are you joking right now? This defense is insane. Wow. I don't think anyone could have done anything better than that. And call it luck, call it skill. I don't know. I'd say like 99% luck, but we'll, we'll take it. That, that was crazy that that was a defense there. I'm going to go in for wall breakers again in the back. Oh, I am lagging. Well, I said luck. Don't do it to me. I beg you. No, no, no. This is a joke, right? Clash Rao. I got so lucky and then my internet died. All right. Looks like I lost this one. We'll bounce on the next game. I think I would have actually won this one if I didn't lag out, says every player ever. But, you know, this is unfortunate. Target destroyed. All right, so jumping into the action, you guys know the deal. Wall Breakers at the start is always the best way to play. That Heal Spirit's going to damage down my Wall Breaker, so I'm not going to let that happen. I'm going to go for the Ice Spirit to go and protect and maybe allow our Wall Breaker to connect to the left-hand side or right. Yo, that one on the right is definitely going to connect to the tower. Let's freaking go. That's an amazing start. Being up 500 damage is something that I need because our deck is so trash. If we hit the late game, I can't do any damage to him because I'm not going to have any direct source of damage with either like a spell or a win condition that can lock under his power. This guy's gonna end up having an Electro Giant, which is gonna be difficult for us to deal with. I need to go for a Heal Spirit, so the Mega Knight's gonna get healed up a bit. And then I'm considering going for an Electro Spirit, so it will stun the Electro Giant for a little bit longer, please. Oh my gosh, it still gets the Reflection damage. That's a bit unfortunate, but we are winning the game, so there's something to work with here. Is he gonna activate King Tower? No, he can't. He even eats the Mega Knight jump. Wait, wait, this is looking pretty good for us, because we can go for Skeletons and he's not able to heal up the Phoenix, and then we can Ice Spirit, and then we can go for a Fire Spirit, and he gets nothing from that. Let's go, guys. I'm gonna go for another Mega Knight because I don't think he's gonna be back to his Electro Giant, and I can follow through with Wall Breakers because the Mega Knight's gonna be tanking. This deck is no, 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 no. terrible for us, but it's working out. Wait, he tried to go and pull it to the Goblins, but it went right towards the Bomber. He didn't know that the Mega Knight actually had a brain, and now he's in some pain. All right, I gotta go bats here because I can't defend this. I need to go and apply aggression, right? The only card that I can use to defend this is going to be a Mega Knight. And because I didn't have Mega Knight in cycle, I kind of... Wait, can I just 3-card you? No way are you going to let this happen! Bats, Mega Knight, and Wall Breakers. And you just completely ignored that, my dude. What are you doing? I mean, I can't complain. We ended up winning a game that I had no business winning. Beating an Electro Giant player without any buildings in a 2.0 Elixir Mimi Mega Knight cycle deck. Most Mega Knight decks automatically lose to Electro Giant, like it's the hardest counter in the game. But I guess the ultimate answer is making memes that your opponent can't understand, so then maybe they can't defend it either. All right, we got a game here, and this guy's got a lot of stars in his name. So you know what, dude? We're going to put you to the test and see if you're actually ready for this completely crazy, terrible deck that I'm about to throw at you. So he's going to go in for Tombstone. I'd love to get that off the map, so then maybe I can go in for like a Mega Knight and get value. This is a very risky play, Mega Knight in the back, but I got extremely lucky going opposite lane of the Monk. Now, the Fire Spirit's going to connect to the Monk and the Tower, and you also have to defend the Mega Knight. If I can kill the Tombstone, you might not end up having any answer to Wall Breakers, and then, of course, you're going to go and show Phoenix and Executioner. So that's a lot of splash damage and high attack speed from the Phoenix, so I'm not going to mess with that too much. Can go for Wall Breakers to kite the Phoenix the other side. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait which is likely going to be our best bet. The bat even connected to the tower. I don't know how that worked out, but I'll take it. I'm going to use a fire spirit here, and then I think I want to go in for a mega knight just to kill the goblins and guarantee that everything's going to die. The bad thing is graveyard skeletons. They do a lot of damage. And they lock directly on my tower. However, I can go for wall breakers if the mega knight gets two shots off on the tombstone. That's all I need to dig your own tombstone. 
Let's go. Both of those connected, and he's going to go and pull that to the King Tower, which obviously is going to happen once we start to play against better and better players. They're going to take the opportunities when they're presented with them. I'm going to heal spirit here. Just try to keep the game a low elixir game. Otherwise, I'm screwed. If this gets in a late game and everyone has high elixir count, he's able to always afford answers to me. So I need to get damage early on. Please go in for something on the fire spirit. Nah, you're not doing anything. I don't even have a direct source of damage, dude. So like, if you stay alive at 30 HP and my tower's at 3,000, you can still win with graveyards. That's going to be a sad time. Maybe I can use like the Lecter Spirit to chain onto his units and then also hit the tower. I've done that before in one of these meme or videos. That's how I was able to win. Hopefully it doesn't come down to that. I don't want to be that close anymore, man. I'm going to go wall breakers. I'm going to go for ice spirit. And I don't think the executioner hits our tower. So that's nice. I have to go for a fire spirit on top of the goblins. And then I can go in for bats here. I think that those are likely going to be our best bet. I'm going to Mega Knight afterward. Okay, that was, that was interesting. Yeah, any other card that I dropped would have just died to the Tornado, and then it would have given too much value. So I'm glad that I decided to go for the Mega Knight just to soak up the damage. My Wall Breakers here, I, it's kind of bad. I could likely want to be able to go in for Wall Breakers and Mega Knight in the right-hand side. So then he's already preoccupied with that Mega Knight, not thinking I'm back to another one. Let's go! So this Mega Knight needs to be able to kill Tombstone. If it doesn't, I'm screwed. Please, Mega Knight, just kill a Tombstone. You have one job, and you do! You're coming up clutch. Wait, why is the monk going backward? Why did both of those connect? Hold up. Wait a minute. How? How? I don't know. What the heck? Dude, you just pushed the Mega Knight while it was in the air. Are you kidding me right now? Did you guys see that? What the heck just happened? That was insane. So we're trying to go wall breakers here. That actually did not pull anything. Uh, maybe he's not going to be ready for that. I don't know. Is one of the wall breakers going to connect? Of course not. That would be too lucky for me, man. All right, the, 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 oh, wow. I thought for sure the Phoenix was going to connect there. But uh, fortunately for us, we get something out of it. Oof, this is a weird game. I need double wall breakers to connect in the right-hand side or a lot of electric spirit damage. We'll see if we can make it happen. I'm going to try to go in for a heal spirit here. going to go for an ice spirit so we can preoccupy his annoying, obnoxious Phoenix. I'm going to go for a fire spirit and then bats and then everything that I can. I don't think the wall breaker is going to connect, but maybe we can have it happen. I get lucky. Why would you tornado that? You definitely overcommitted, my dude. Okay, I can vibe with this a bit. We know that he's going to try to go in for a graveyard, so I need to use my Electro Spirit on defense. I'm going to try to go in for the Mega Knight as well. If the Mega Knight can just kill the Tombstone again. I know I've been asking a lot of him right now. He's been working like double shifts here, but he has to make it happen or I'm definitely screwed. All right, so I'm going to go in for the Wall Breakers again. The Bats might be able to distract the Phoenix. He's not going to be able to kill that unless he... Oh, wow, he just freezes. Okay, never mind. He, he's got answers. He's got an ample amount of answers. All right, we need to go in for a Mega Knight here. Try to go in for like Electro Spirit, Bats, Wall Breakers. Just keep it up. So then he maybe goes back for like a Freeze or a Tornado on offense and then has no Elixir for the Wall Breakers. Maybe he's not going to be able to get damage because he's going to be so preoccupied by the Wall Breakers on offense. Yo, that's another strategy. We might just need to stall out this game for another like 50 seconds. Hopefully that's going to be possible. Okay, the bird is coming down. That's going to be a big problem. I'm going to try to get like an Ice Spirit again. And then maybe we can go Mega Knight on this side so then we preoccupy him there. Yeah, what if I do dual lane aggression with double Mega Knights absolutely freaking everywhere? Is that a play? Is that a possibility? The Wall Breakers? Oh, I don't know. I got to go for like Skeletons here. I got to go like Mega Knight again so we stop him from crossing the river. Electro Spirit, Bats. The, the Monk on the other side is definitely going to be a problem because that Phoenix might resurrect. It was at this moment that he knew. He bro, bro, stop it. Stop it. I don't have a spell, man. Yo, miss me with that. I got to go wall breakers and spam everything in the right hand side, but I don't know if I can get back to another set of wall breakers. Come on now, please, please. One wall breaker to connect for me. That's all I need. I just need them to connect. Please, anything. No, it's not enough. Oh, 300 HP. That was quite honestly one of the closest games I've had in a while. I really thought I was going to win at the end, but since he had King Tower activated, he was able to kill the first wall breaker that was about to connect, and only the second one connected for me. Super close stuff. You can't win them all, but we'll bounce on next one and see if we can bounce back there. We got a game against Victor, and let's see if we can steal his name and be the victor at the end of the game. So I'm going to go in for the Mega Knight in the back, same side as his Tombstone. Last time we played against Tombstone, we took a gigantic L. So hopefully this game will be our redemption arc, you know? If this is another graveyard player, I need to win this. My entire pride, my joy, everything is on the line in this game. Mega Knight, you need to be able to kill the Zappies. Of course, you're going to end up having Monk and probably Phoenix and Graveyard. So yeah, this is our redemption arc. It needs to happen and it needs to happen now.
I want to go in for a fire spirit, but I know it would just go into skeleton, so it's not worth it. Okay, electric spirit, come up clutch. Electric spirit, come up clutch. Mega Knight, come through. You know what to do? Okay, that's decent. I mean, the fire spirit on the other side is going to force out an elixir, and this is exactly the deck that we lost to. Plus or minus a few cards. I don't think the last time it had zappies. The wall is going to connect, and it's going to be able to blow those goblins to bits. No King Tar activation for you, and that is a ridiculously good start for me. Okay, so I can go skeletons, pull the annoying phoenix bird to the other side and see what we can do please let me win this game i do not want to lose to this deck again as you guys already know bats and electric spirit are two best answers and i use both of them there i'm going to ice spirit so we can pull back the phoenix and then i think i can go in for wall breakers aggressively just to apply more aggression let's see what he does if he goes zappies i wonder if it's gonna get distracted by bats oh that would have been so nice we already got back to another cycle of bats are you kidding me he just killed them and then they've resurrected from the ashes he doesn't have Barbro on cycle either, so you guys already know the deal. Heal Spirit is going to come up clutch. So I'm a Heal Spirit here, and I kind of want to go Electric Spirit just to clean up whatever he's going to drop faster. Okay, please, 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 please. Ice Spirit, stun the monk so he can't go in for his ability. Let's go! He has no ability to defend without the monk ability. And I think we bounce back. I mean, that's the Mega Knight specialty, right? It bounces everywhere. And I think with a minute left over, we'll just easily defend with Bats and Electric Spirit. And there's no way for this man to find his way back into the game. It's going to be a lost puppy for the rest of the minute. A few dominance is asserted later. So yeah, this matchup is absolutely miserable. You have no way of cleaning up graveyard skeletons that are on your tower, except going for an electric spirit. You don't have a zap or a log to clean up all the graveyard skeletons. So if they lock onto your tower, they're going to load up that damage and you're going to leave the game absolutely destroyed. But fortunately, in this match, we took the tower early and didn't get to the late game where our opponent was always able to afford answers. Redemption is sweet, especially when we can defeat a Dirty Monk Phoenix Spammer, burying that deck where it belongs in the graveyard. Like, subscribe for more daily videos, and have an incredible rest of your day.